Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome to another beautiful weekend here in the Pacific Northwest uh, specifically in Greenwater Washington uh, this weekend is a little different here uh, in our neck of the woods as we are uh, reaching record breaking heat this weekend back home uh, the forecasts were triple digits and I think it was expected to be hundred and three or so I want to say by Monday um, so needless to say Karina and Stanley are at home in the AC. I still wanted to get out and venture a little bit So I did um, After finding a trail that looked like it hadn't been driven in quite some time. There was a couple down trees some uh, Pockets of snow that were sitting in the shade that hadn't quite melted yet. I found this incredible spot at about 5200 feet in elevation and the temperature in the vehicle uh, what it was forecasting set at about 75 degrees or so up here um, so it's not bad I got a nice breeze on this ridge that I'm on and the best part I believe is gonna be that view of Mount Rainier so that is fantastic so happy to find a spot that's secluded up here get a nice breeze it's not terribly hot um, but we're still getting out and having fun so that's what it's all about and some of you may have noticed on the opening scenes there that we now have shirts available for sale. Conquest Overland logo shirts. Um, all sizes are available. You can get them directly on conquestoverland.com with a link down in the description. Um, but stay tuned. I have one more item of a merchandise that I do want to showcase to you that will also be available, uh, which we will uh, display later on in the episode. But. In the meantime, let's get camp set up. Let's get some shade going, maybe some lunch as well, and uh, enjoy the weekend.
Well guys, I was definitely uh, not anticipating doing a product review today, but since the situation has presented itself, I think it would be um, beneficial for everybody to, to kind of hear and take note of some product review as well as insight from my experience on it. Uh, for the past several years, I've been using the uh, Rhino Rack Batwing 270 degree awning purchased at full price, no affiliates, no none of that stuff. Um, and it's been great for, for me. I, I love the coverage that it provides all the way around. Um, but from the version one that they had, I believe it was called the Fox Wing at the time, to now the version two of the Batwing, uh, the construction type changed on the hinge. So the first version had like a, a metal based hinge system where the awning uh, pivots around the vehicle. And the new one now has a plastic based hinge system. Uh, well, the plastic based hinge system on the new one that's currently on the truck uh, has now failed me twice. Uh, the first time was on a trip that I wasn't necessarily recording. Um, and then today, both failing in the exact same way. As I was unraveling the awning to get it around the truck, um, before I had time to put the legs in and stake it down um, an ever so slight breeze came through and put a little bit of a downward force on the awning itself and right at that plastic hinge one of them snapped just instantaneously uh, which is a huge bummer uh, especially on a day like today shade is certainly appreciated uh, so I have improvised a little bit using the truck and the GFC shadow here um, but it is kind of a bummer. Uh, Rhino Rack, I, I hope you guys are working on a third version uh, by hearing uh, some customer feedback. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's experienced this, uh, but the plastic hinges are definitely subpar in construction, at least in my opinion, for the ever so slight conditions that are presented today. Um, that hinge just snapped almost instantaneously. And of course, since this already happened to me, and it's also my fault, um, I've already used the two included replacement hinges from the first time and I just simply haven't ordered more which I need to uh, for moments exactly like this um, but in their benefit those uh, hinges on the new version are extremely easy to replace just a matter of unscrewing them out putting them back a uh, new one back in and you're good to go um, but the fact that that is a problem where they give you um, that many replacements to begin with as opposed to the first version which nothing came with it um, obviously, obviously means that they know of it and is a failure point so uh, moving forward it's just something to be mindful of if you're in the market uh, for an awning especially in a 270 degree fashion um, for the weight ratio to square foot coverage I love it especially at the uh, relatively affordable price that it comes with uh, as opposed to many other competitors on the market which could be upwards to double if not triple in price um, but in any fashion no harm no foul I still have some shade here and if need be which I might uh, because the bugs are definitely out I can always retreat inside the GFC and just fold up the windows there still enjoy the view but be away from the bugs and have shade uh, so that we're not, uh, definitely not going to let that bum the weekend out uh, Rainier is standing loud and proud behind and the views are just simply incredible. So uh, weekend is still amazing, uh, having a great time. The breeze is nice on this side. And um, just gonna kick back and enjoy the views.
so I think now is good as any time to kind of showcase some small little creature comforts that I've done to the inside of the GFC just to make it uh, just a little bit more livable for me. Um, starting off is this super nice uh, stadium chair with a padded uh, seat and back. Got this from just an REI clearance sale, but this is the Mountain Summit gear. And just makes for a really nice chair while you're inside the GFC. Has adjustable buckles so you can recline or lean forward as much as you like. And I can also close the GFC with it in here because of how compact it is. So that's really nice just to have a chair in the interior space. And then up here, probably more importantly for this weekend, what I used is the suction cup mount that I picked up for the DJI Osmo Action. And then this guy is a seven inch diameter uh, USB rechargeable fan, a three speed, and it also has built in lights. So this is really nice to just get some more airflow in here. But what made it crucial for this weekend is these uh, adjustable legs that you can bend and twine however you want to freestand or hang off of something. And it's nice just to have some more airflow in here and get a, a little bit more of a breeze. And of course, I've mentioned this one uh, a few videos back, but this is just this uh, LED uh, strip light that's being held with adhesive Velcro, uh, also USB rechargeable. Uh, nice options if you don't want anything permanently mounted or wired or anything like that, so I can be flexible for anything down the road. Uh, don't mind the mess, just kind of knickknacks that I have up here for now, sleeping bag, blanket. Doubt I'll need really much of that for this weekend iPad, just looking up some stuff on Gaia. Of course, being able to stand in here. And then the 360 degree view provided by the massive front windows all the way around with a collective five in total for the two rear and the three in the front. So just a couple little things, but they definitely make all the difference when you just want to hang out in here um, like I am due to a broken awning and also just wanting to get away from the bugs. Well, hey, cheers, everybody. It has been a great weekend out. The highs got to about 90 degrees, which was a little bit warmer than I was hoping for uh, for this high of elevation. But you know what? The views are amazing, and it definitely made it all worth it. I'm still glad I came out and got to explore some trails that I haven't been on before. Um, but with the heat, I'm really not crazy hungry, so I'm just going to keep dinner super easy. Uh, just a couple brats and a salad, basically just some leftover groceries uh, that we had at the house. And of course, enjoying a nice little glass of Pendleton, which is always a good uh, evening cap. Uh, but I am 
so anxious to see what uh, sunset brings in terms of the colors with Rainier right behind us. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So I cannot wait to see uh, what that looks like and to capture some good content for you guys. Uh, but otherwise, it's been fun. Nice, relaxing, very chill type of weekend, which is kind of what I wanted. Didn't want to do too much moving around with all the heat. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get dinner going and wrapped up and welcome in the evening with uh, what it may bring. Well, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful start to this Sunday. Um, I woke up at about 5 a.m. this morning, intentionally, <laughs> as I left all the windows on the GFC open and woke up with the sunrise. And I'm super happy I did because the colors of seeing Rainier behind me, there it is, as well as the surrounding mountain ranges were just simply incredible, absolutely beautiful. Um, for this particular spot so I'm really glad I came across it. 
Uh, but for those of you who stuck around, you probably had noticed this morning's coffee was in our newest, second newest um, item to the store of the camp mug, also available on our website for purchase. Um, so I'm super happy to announce between the shirt and the mug, those are our newest items uh, to offer. Definitely going to have a lot more throughout the rest of the year, so stay tuned. Um, but I do appreciate all your guys' support and those reaching out asking uh, what new items are going to be coming available. Uh, but as for the remainder of the day for me, I do need to start working my way back home, get some things ready for the upcoming week. Uh, so I'll uh, get ready and pack down camp here and maybe explore just a few adjacent trails surrounding this area and call it an incredible weekend. It was a little bit warmer than I hoped for, but still glad we were able to sneak out and uh, check out some new areas. So with that, thank you all so much for your continued support. And until next time, safe travels.